Sako uh, was named a, a green city uh, in 2008, uh, the greenest city in the state of Maine. We have uh, two windmills, uh, though a lot of people argue that the uh, new windmill isn't living up to expectations. Uh, do you think that Sako is really kind of trying at least to lead the fight in this regard? And what have you specifically done in, in, in Augusta to try to focus in on alternative energy sources, maybe let's say windmills or hydroelectric or geothermal technology? What have you specifically done? Well, I think that Sako has done an amazing job on the energy, on the windmills, um, when they had the green seminar down here at the Howard Sports Center, they've been in the forefront. Um, and I really have uh, a lot of good things to say about the mayors and the city councils that have pushed this. I think it's been wonderful. As far as in Augusta, we've had an extremely busy session this past session. Energy was the number one focus um, for, for most people up there. Uh, we passed three very substantial bills that um, I supported and think will go a long way into helping the state of Maine. One of them was to um, have an energy future bill, which was more to consolidate all of the different energy agencies that we have now, to put it into one so that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. That was one important bill. The, en the other one was on energy infrastructure that we have. There had been a moratorium on a lot of the um, corridors that we had. and that the state of Maine owned. We put certain guidelines on that so that developers would know that if they met these guidelines that they could go ahead and do it. That was a very important step because businesses like to know the rules and they don't like when you change the rules in the middle of the ball game. So I think this was an important step. And the third one was um, an ocean, um, ocean energy um, and energy bill. And on the ocean energy bill, it approved um, certain tidal and wind um, projects in the state of Maine so that there were certain areas that we could go ahead and do that. So I think this is this was a huge first step. In a very short session, we um, accomplished a lot as far as energy goes. And my husband has been saying for 20 years he wants a windmill. And you can see the wind is a little breezy up here today. And my husband yelled out the window the other night, come see. And I stood outside and I noticed my neighbor right over there has a new windmill. So I think windmills are, are a definitely um, an asset and not necessarily a detriment. What more do you think needs to be done in terms of energy in the state of Maine? I just came back from a conference, Women in Government, down in Newport, Rhode Island, and this answer is is not a, it's more a tongue in cheek. So this is not the answer to take out of context. But we actually met with the um, president of the Transportation Division for the European Union out of Brussels. He was one of the featured speakers at the conference that we went to all day, and one of the things he said is that the problem with getting people on board with energy in the United States and on transportation, mass transportation and stuff, is that our gas is too cheap. He said, you should double it. He said, we're $7 a gallon in Europe. Uh, he did not get a very good response on that. But I think in reality is that's what happens. When gas was extremely high and we were paying almost $4 a gallon for it, energy was on the tip of everybody's tongue. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I paid two sixty eight a gallon the other day. People aren't talking about it as much. We need to wean ourselves off the dependency of foreign oil. And if we really mean that, then we have to decide what we're going to do as far as whether or not we want the windmills. We Do we want biofuels? Do we want LNG plants, liquefied natural gas plants? Do we want alternative forms? If we truly say we want to lessen our dependency on foreign oil, it starts with the individual. It starts on us, on our driving habits and what we're doing. So I think uh, energy is very important, but when gas is cheap, it's not as important to a lot of people. Uh, when gas is high, it's the first thing they, um, they look at to do something different with.